Hello everyone, it's Friday, May 19th, 2023, and it's the latest edition of the Day Weather Podcast, brought to you every Monday through Friday by Cowboy State Daily and by YDOT. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel. Well, today through the weekend, it's going to kind of be a tale of two different weather patterns across the Rocky Mountain West. Stormy conditions have pretty much wound down around Wyoming, Nebraska, the Dakotas, Montana, and Idaho. At the same time, we expect some unsettled weather to continue for parts of Colorado, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, as well as the Great Basin areas of Nevada and Northern California. Hazy and smoky conditions could be a problem at times for parts of the northern states. We'll dive further into that in a moment. And temperatures will be trending warmer this weekend within our drier areas while cooler readings persist where the showers persist. As mentioned, we've had a few storms the past couple of days and some photos to illustrate. This picture was taken Wednesday afternoon by our own Mark Hewer outside of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Pretty good thunderstorm structure we have where the inflow is meeting the updraft, the main components of the thunderstorm. On the backside, we have what's called an anvil, where instability and rising air meets the tropopause, the highest boundary layer where most of our weather takes place. And the fine folks in Laramie on Thursday got a little bit of excitement when a landspout tornado formed just before noon east of town. This is a still photo that was part of a video submitted to us by Kevin Follett at Laramie, Wyoming. A weak tornado, but a tornado nonetheless. It did touch ground for about 20 to 25 minutes or so before lifting back into the clouds shortly after noon on Thursday. This is a water vapor image of the upper atmosphere as of late Thursday afternoon. An upper level trough spinning over the Dakotas and the central Canadian prairies providing for a stiff northerly flow coming in over eastern Montana, the Dakotas and Wyoming needing more of a southwesterly flow pattern coming in off the four corners. We also have our little ridge pattern that's building and ascending further into Alberta and British Columbia. I show you this because if you are in Montana, the Dakotas, Nebraska, or Wyoming, and you stepped outside on Thursday morning and suddenly realized that it got a little hazy outside, well, that's because we have several ongoing wildfires occurring over western Canada. This is a map from the Canadian Wildland Fire Information System and shows several locations where fires are persisting. The red dots are where uncontrolled fires are ongoing. Blue dots are fires that are no longer active, and the yellow dots are fires that are currently under control. The northerly and northwest flow is tapping into the haze and smoke as a result and spreading across the international border into the northern tier of the country. This is another water vapor image, or excuse me, a satellite image, if you will, of the northern states, Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska. And as you can see, that north to northwest flow is bringing in that haze across much of the northern states. Some of it's being obscured by clouds and thunderstorm development Thursday afternoon. Let's go ahead and take a look at our upper level jet stream map on how this is going to evolve through the weekend. This is six o'clock this morning. Our ridge is starting to amplify, ascending into Alberta and British Columbia, hitting those uh, areas where the wildfires are ongoing and the northwesterly flow should continue through the day, pushing this trough further east across the Great Lakes and the Middle Atlantic. On Saturday morning, the ridge will kind of lose its amplification, but spread into a wider area from the eastern Pacific through the west coast, the Great Basin and uh, Rockies, extending further into the central plains, shifting the flow a little more northwesterly. This could push the haze and smoke further eastward, but could still affect parts of Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho. Sunday morning, it'll be broadening out through the central United States, allowing for a mild northwesterly flow and some of those warmer temperatures to be spreading across the western United States. Let's go ahead and back up a couple slides and kind of show another weather feature that's going to cause some problems and be an inconvenience for our southern states. This little trough, this cutoff area of low pressure, has been kind of sitting and spinning off Baja, California. It blends in well with its surroundings, but it's going to be a nuisance and annoying for the next couple of days or so. It's going to continue to send uh, some subtropical moisture from the uh, Central Pacific right on into Mexico and our southern states, 
And as illustrated by this relative humidity animation, it's going to continue to send some of that moisture through the southern states. And a little bit of Pacific moisture will be caught up in the jet stream as our ridge develops over the northern tier of the country. This is going to result through the 72-hour period into Monday morning at 6 with ongoing rain showers over the four corners centered right here, extending further into Oklahoma and Texas. Pockets of heavier rain exceeding an inch or more will still be possible again over a three-day period from Friday morning through 6 a.m. on Monday. And the ridge pattern itself, while it will bring more sunshine and warmer temps to northern states, not going to be dry entirely. We call it a dirty ridge where Pacific moisture and energy will try to undercut it and combine with some daytime heating to produce pockets of light showers, just very minimal amounts uh, Kind of negligible over most areas, but nevertheless, some pockets of rain possible, especially on Saturday and into Sunday as that ridge maximizes and starts to move further eastward. Temperature anomalies. This is uh, this afternoon at 6 o'clock heading into the weekend. Temperature readings 10, 15, 20, even 25 degrees above normal in the areas of the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia and Alberta where those wildfires are ongoing. Certainly not going to help the cause up there. We're talking readings into the 70s and 80s. Meanwhile, closer to home, near seasonal uh, today, below average, where the showers will persist in Colorado, New Mexico, and the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. The anomaly showing uh, temperatures about 5 to 15 even 20 degrees below average through today. But we will moderate things as we fast forward through the weekend. By Sunday afternoon, this swath of warmer air will extend eastward further into the high plains, while we're going to have a pretty good contrast ongoing in the southern states where temperatures will continue to run several degrees below average. Thanks for listening and watching, everyone. Have yourself a great Friday and a great weekend. We'll talk to you again on Monday.